Well, what are you doing? I'm bringing it up to speed. Tell me what you're doing. Got the IMF. So you got the IMF, you got the H1N1, they refused that. They refused central banks. What else did they do? They were resisting the New World Order. He was um, resisting the New World Order designer. So what they did, they made the biggest mistake in Polish history. They underestimated the Jews. Sorry, mate. Put a magnet on the tail, eh? Really? Well, that's what we got so far. They uh, refused the IMF. They refused the, the yeah, health minister. Wait, said wait, they wait. wouldn't give it to a mother or a children. H1N1. So they had the fingers on the pulse. They made the mistake of their life by putting all of their politicians, the leaders of the country, on the one plan and thought that the start was going to miss that. Maybe it wasn't even planned that way. Maybe they were all rounded up. We went through this before. Could have all been rounded up the night before in their houses. And well, I agree. Who, who knows? But who made the arrangement? Who announced the arrangement for them all to go on the same plan? Well, we don't know that that was done out. I think they would have been Adam sent off. Adam saying they were never on the plane, in my opinion. It, it seems no, like no, bullshit. they must have seen them off on the plane. Well, some and then they've landed the plane somewhere else. In Minsk, perhaps. Yeah, they've landed in Minsk. No, you do the numbers. I yeah, we did, four we did years it ago. before. Unloaded the people. Then went like hell for the next 150 miles to catch up, to make the timing the same as of what they would have arrived at the end of their destination in Russia. We would only have found that with the, uh, the black box. And of course that was stolen. You got four gunshots, there's a crew dead, and no bodies. Therefore, where were they? The same as what happened with 9-11 when we have plane that was down with something like 77 people on board, right? Yeah. No wreckage. Then we have the Pentagon plane, no wreckage. Where were they? They were taken elsewhere, taken off and executed. Now, they then take photographs of it as they're doing it. Mm. And then they show everybody whom they want to move in their direction. This is what's going to happen to you and your family. Unless you go along with it. Hmm. Well, Adam is saying... Uh, Tell him that. I have. I already did that oh. like when I started typing. Um,
Well, I still like computers, but you've got to punch the information in twice. There's nothing worse than someone who thinks they're intelligent. Mm. It's saying the um He said the whole country is without hope. The people. They were behind the Prime Minister one hundred percent. He was doing all the right things and was uniting the Eastern Bloc as a brotherhood. You don't need a Prime Minister to do that. No, they don't. Well, they do, but he's... No. Okay. No, he doesn't. Because the people accept it as is. Right? Mm. As if he is still there, the ghost. They just go along as if the government... They want the government run as if he would run it. That's it. And if whoever's in charge, it's better run it like he was going to do it. Right? Put him a proxy, representing him till he gets back, because he certainly wasn't on the plane. Maybe he's still alive. Well, that, no, they had the funeral for him. So that they must they have presented... Have the body, did they? Yeah, they did. They must, so they must have presented the body. That's what I'm saying. Russia took control of everything. So they must have been giving out the bodies of whoever they gave out, because there were funerals. Uh, but... Did the plane burn? Yeah, the plane was burning, but... You know, well, then they give them back as burnt bodies. Well, you can see from the videos, there's, there was no... There was plane wreckage, but there were no bodies. Mm. And Adam's saying the same thing. Nobody's asking the questions about the bodies or anything. Well, didn't you tell him we did it two years ago? Yeah, I did. I, I, I have. Um, and y'all can't find it, by the way. Mm. Yeah, hopeless. Still did did you tell Adam I infiltrated the Mormons? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, anyway, I'm a sneaky old fox, eh? Now, if this Romney's been given $60 million, he already has contravened the illegal, yeah. but therefore he can't get elected. You know what I mean? But, hun, hmm? their elections are rigged as... <laughs> you know, they can put in who they want. Looks like Obama's out. Romney's. Who knows? It's all, it's all BS anyway. <laughs> Stars hang suspended. Above a floating element. Shall we tell the story of what happened to that? Not yet. Ripping arm, huh? Yeah, it was. Would you not agree that Poland announcing that the crisis return would set them free? Yes, of course. Right. Why do you think Adam's been followed everywhere? Mm. Exactly. No, they can't kill him. Try that. Hmm. She's going to talk to the old man. The old man's supposed to be a righteous sort of fellow, isn't he? Well, 
like protective ideas. Enjoy yourself. It's lighter than you think. Enjoy yourself. While wow, we're still in the thing. What you saying? You're not saying anything. Yeah, it was. Um, it's saying they are the ones who need the hand of God to literally lift them out of the Zionist regime that is poisoning their very being. They export all resources only to be forced to buy it back from Western nations at inflated prices after they have been stepped on by the rest of the world. And then uh, I said, well, you know, they be the nations making that for me. He says, I have thought about it in every way possible. In fact, it's quite literally, they're in the depression and my voice goes unanswered. Every person I contact with nose and it is just, uh, you guys would have to see it for yourself to really grasp the impossibility of it. I can use Canada as the example. Um, here everything is made to hurt and bury the people. Well, God, I don't know. Now I'm telling everyone I can, doesn't mean that tomorrow that there will be rights. I've said it over and over, the freedom of God is there. Take it, he's just Fucking tech down will rise when they see it. I've told them of the plan and told them what to do. You're trying to go to the phone, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Did you? Yes, yeah, so I'm doing it down. Lane. Two. Two. Do I have to Google my name? May it always be a love affair. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll be dashed. We're down to Ezekiel 10 11. Out of bed was gone. So it'll have a magnetic motor. A lot of time is hers. I love her. Burden. Flame to burn.
He said he, he, he and Claudia have already done that what? to the father. They've already done that. He sided with the Jews, said we were jealous. They're probably his friends. Go the Prime Minister. And no, he is pro-government but prides his distance from it. Now, the dude that's in place, he's not a goodie. Mm -hmm. The guy, dude that took over, no. What he, about the guy's brother? The Prime Minister's brother. And he says, uh, what a, I said, what a fuckwit. He says, yes, I know, and such is the mentality of even the most intelligent fuckwit. The last is in Ezekiel 9.11. And behold, a man clothed with linen, which had the inkhorn by his side, reported the matter, saying, I have done as thou hast commanded me. Ezekiel 9, 11. 9, 11. No, no, no. Ezekiel 9, 3, date of the crucifixion. And the glory of God of Israel was gone up from the cherub, whereupon he was to the threshold of the house, and he called to the men clothed with linen, which had the writer's inkhorn by his side. That's Ezekiel 9.3. And 9.2 is the first one. And behold, six men came from the way of the high gate, which lieth toward the north, 
and every man a slaughter weapon in his hand. And one man among them was clothed with linen, with a writer's inkhorn by his side. And they went in and stood beside the brass and altar. The Mormons got all that. Mm. You two, I've been there, seen it. Mm. Me standing on a planet. Look at that. Nice blue background. Very wonderful. You can probably find it on the internet. Inside the morning, the town mm. of Utah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. They got the bloody brazen, they, they got the 12 oxen with this brazen dish on top of them, stupid bastards. Well, Solomon's ship, right? Hmm. Okay, as far as the brother of the Prime Minister. He said, oh yes, the one who said sniffing pot is as bad as heroin. Um, he hands down eight years sentence for first degree murder but gives the cannabis cultivator ten years minimum. If you produce a kilo of meth you will only get eight years. One plant will get you ten. Um, the, the Prime Minister they got rid of was going to legalise cannabis. So his brother's packing his shit, right? <sighs> it says murder is seen as a lesser crime than growing or smoking cannabis. Good. Place <laughs> is totally demonised. Totally. Well, that's what he said. He said that, that he said you should sit. Said of which it has been three weeks since he has had a smoke. <laughs> um, he says uh, that's that's what I mean, fuck's sake. If you could see what has been done and the spirit of the people, you would not even consider it. Trust me, the one place I want free is Poland. Hence the promise I've made to accomplish what I will in Canada as a beacon, a starting gun, blast to free themselves. It's got close, Poland has close ties with Canada. A lot of Polish people in Canada. My. It's certainly amazing to them. Mm. Says my fear is the state of it here is the same as the state of Fiji, but obviously much, much, much worse. Every year you got a round of them, mark em. So they cannot buy or sell. So, complete sub mentality. Leave it. Mm. Head for the hills. Yeah. It says yeah. All, all through history the Polish people have experienced nothing but pain, loss, death, sorrow, torture, ridicule, emasculation and deprivation. Yeah. Well, they're Can't use their own affairs, they've got the brains. Mm -hmm. They can't run their own affairs, they haven't got the brains. Well, they're idiots. Let, let these people all go on the one jet. I mean, someone's got to say goodbye at the airport. If there's no one, no bodies on the other end, where were they? Mm -hmm. They landed at Minsk. And they killed him. The same as I said what they did to Obama if they got him down underneath uh, Denver. What's that? I said Obama. Should you go underneath there? That's what they're going to do to you. You're a nigger. do fucking forget it.
So I, I guarantee because Kissinger put him in, he was up his eyeballs in it all. But he turned on him. That's all the point. He's not going along with them. They've got to put this other bombardier character in. Mm. Is that the name of Bombardier? Is it? Bombardier. Good name, isn't it? Bombardier. Uh, I, I, I said, uh, I said, well, the Polish people are, yeah, says the Polish, that's because they are stupid. He says, yeah, well, fuck, then Americans are retarded. He said, yes, mm. I agree. Oh, right. He says, watched a woman get punched in the face in front of a hundred people. It was a cop who sucker punched her and they did nothing. Should have hung. Remember what it says in the Colburn about the good men go to war and kill for kings? Mm. Kill each other for kings. Kill each other for the What's wars of kings, yeah. The comments from Iran were that the, what, what the fuck is wrong with America? How can it stand by and not grab their rightfully owned weapons and kill every single cop that stands against them? Don't they get it if they use violence standing in a circle yelling shame? It achieves nothing. That's why America has got the First Amendment, the right to bear arms. Doesn't mean you've got to walk around with a gun on your hip, but if you've got a problem right now, you should have a gun on your hip. Everybody should have packed a gun. If it's a three year old, then make sure there's no bullets in. Yeah, well, it's a bit late, because they've all been confiscated, turned in. There's more guns in America. Mm. There's no way these Yanks would be turning the gun. Look at the KKK. The KKK. Do you think George would be turning his bloody weapon in? No. Impossible. Because some bloody law is passed? Fuck that, you can't change the constitution, right? He says they don't get it if they use violence standing in a circle, yelling shame, to achieve nothing. They must meet the force, meet the force that the cops use with an even larger force. Get Obama to force the military onto the streets so they can see the faces they are ordered to shoot. Hmm. Asking him when is he going to the airport. <laughs> Another conspiracy is a fact, you see. Whatever love one
Um, I said, what are your plans when are you leaving? He says, uh, he says, going to send a resume to Ray to see what work he has for him and then he says, if nothing will straight up go as he has organised a meeting with me and Paul Hornby. So I might be able to get work with Paul. That'd be, that'd be great. I said, um, I said, uh, good, better to go, just go anyway, ASAP. He says, uh, he says uh, no, I've got nowhere to stay and it seems I'm being guided to do everything on someone else's time. He says, don't worry, it's all good. Got it covered and following my instincts. Okay. Um, how long will he be in Poznan? He says, like he said, and Claudia's mum parting words were, follow your heart. <laughs> And he says, not long. When I get to Canada, I will probably have to organise a homeless shelter until I start work. He's made up pretty much. Just see if you can pick somewhere who doesn't have dog shit on the floor. <laughs> If I do, clean it up. Quarter to three. No one that plays stepping on this, we are. So we'll stop recording, eh? Yes. So what's your final word on the Polish thing? They're sick as two short planks. They shouldn't have let their leaders all go on one plane. And uh, they should look at it more thoroughly. They have been hijacked by the Bombardier. Mm. Mm. Bombardier. Bombardier. Mafia. Jews. Mossad. Shot the pilots. Mossad and Mormon connection. Mossad Mormon connection. Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton. 9-11. 9-11. Look up Ezekiel 9-11. Oh, thank Look you. up Inkhorn 9-11, 9-3 and 9-2. Ezekiel is uh, 3168 in Hebrew, which is Lord Jesus Christ in Greek, Genetria. Um, and um, I was born in a Catholic family. Now in 1215, was it uh, King John? 1213. 1213 gave uh, England to, uh, this is Israel, gave it to the Catholics. And therefore, the Vicar of Christ and the last Pope is the German one you got right now, which is a prophecy of Malachi. And that, um, what is the 110th or something like that since Malachi? Whatever. What is Malachi? Is it last priest, last Pope? What is he? 110th? 112th? 113th? 111. Mm. 11, isn't it? So he's out of a job. And he's back for since Christ. Well, Christ is back. 